what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have some important things to talk about here today in this video two uh concerning things one regarding samara weaving and then another thing regarding selena gomez and more rumors or more fire being added to the rumors that she'll be appearing in screen five courtesy of courtney cox now first person i'm going to talk about briefly is selena gomez now i don't know if anyone else is familiar with this i've already done a video talking about this briefly many months ago now the same stuff is happening again and we've gotten an additional an additional bit of gasoline poured onto this fire from courtney cox regarding selena gomez possibly being in screen five now as we all might be aware of or some of you might not be aware of she actually almost did get the role she was considered for the role of emma roberts uh, the role of Jill Roberts in Screen 4 that Emma Roberts ultimately got, she was going to be up to play the role of Jill. But I believe at the time she was like 17 and still doing Disney Channel. But if you look at this image from Instagram, look at the very bottom comment section, very bottom comment from Courtney Cox that's pointing out the fact that she can't wait to meet Selena Gomez. Now, I don't know what exactly that means or and how you how else she would be excited to meet her unless she is going to be in Screen 5. Uh Another interesting thing about this is that all the other cast members who have already been announced, because we know last week we found out that Melissa Barrera would be in it and uh, Jenna Ortega are going to be participating in Screen 5. We don't know what characters they'll be portraying out of the list of characters that we all know will now be appearing in Screen 5. We don't know what characters they're portraying, but what's interesting is not only them, Courtney, David, the directors of Screen 5, um, I don't think it was directors. I think it was just the actors, though. Uh, I think it was just the actors. They all started following her on Instagram. And to the best of my knowledge, they are still following her. But what was something I took note of was that that comment that you just saw in that screenshot that Courtney Cox left, she either deleted it or it's just so many comments have now been commenting on that post. It's just gone. But it looks like she deleted that comment. What's interesting about this is... Now, Selena Gomez, who we all know is a very popular singer now since her days on Wizards of Waverly Place, and she has done several different movies. She's, I believe, one of the people behind 13 Reasons Why as producer. She does a lot of things in the film industry now, uh, behind the scenes and on camera also as well. But she's mostly now known for her music career, in my honest opinion. She went from being a small-time actor uh, that made it big when she broke out in that role uh, as Alex on Wizards of Waverly Place to now being a hit singer. Because I've been seeing Selena Gomez as far back as I can remember as the first Spy Kids movie. Uh, not the first one, but Spy Kids 3 Game Over. I feel like that's the first time I saw Selena Gomez. Uh, and she's just become something larger than life now. She's a hit singer, more known for that than her acting career. But she has been wanting to get back in the film. And what's interesting to me about this is how this Friday, she has a single coming out with um, a group, I believe, named Black Print. Black Print has an album coming out on October 2nd. And they have a song on their album featuring Selena Gomez titled Ice Cream. And she's been promoting it on Twitter. Uh, several different fan accounts have been promoting it. An official fan account promoted it. What's sticking out to me, though, about this is the fact that in these tweets and in all these things that I'm seeing to promote it and hype it up, I have no idea what ice cream has to do with screaming. Um, now, unless this is in reference to an old saying, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. They are going out of their way to to not only use the word scream and screaming, very different alterations of the word scream, and they're capitalizing it, making a big deal out of this song titled Ice Cream and basically breaking it down into I scream, you scream, we all scream, we're screaming for Selena Gomez, ice cream. Um, and Amazon Music made a big deal out of it on Twitter. It's just the way that they're building hype towards it. And knowing that this song is coming out on Friday, it's adding to my speculation of whether or not this song is going to be getting released this coming Friday. This song getting released this coming Friday is also going to be attaching a official announcement that Selena Gomez will be participating in Screen 5. Now, what role will she play? If we're being honest, Selena Gomez is, again, like I may mention, though, she's larger than life now as a singer, much more known for her discography than her acting, in my honest opinion. Uh, and 
knowing how the Scream franchise is, we had Drew Barrymore as the opening kill in the original Scream. Very iconic. Jada Pinkett, Scream 2. Uh, and then they kind of watered it down a bit with Scream 3 and Scream 4. So maybe they're going to try to go back to that. That's what role Selena Gomez will be playing. Selena Gomez would be our opening kill. She could be the thing that's sparking our heroine sarah to return to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes after she loses let's say the character of selena gomez plays is happens to be a close friend of sarah and that sparks her to come back to the town of woodsboro but that's honestly the role i see her fulfilling in screen five should she get announced and if this speculation and these rumors are in fact true otherwise i don't know what else courtney cox would be excited to see her and meet her in or meet her for other than of course possibly a friends reunion because i know she's good friends with jennifer anderson selena gomez that bean uh now getting into this whole samara weaving thing samara weaving she apparently turned down a role in screen five and she was talking about it with the filmmakers because as we know the same filmmakers who brought us ready or not last year radio silence um matt benelli tyler gillett Tyler Gillett as the directors of that same film, uh, Guy Busick, who I believe I'm, I'm stating the right writer. He's one of the writers for Screen 5. He also worked on Ready or Not. He worked on a few episodes of Castle Rock. We know we have a lot of people from that film on board for Screen 5. They were actually trying to get Samara Weaving to be in the film, Screen 5, bringing her on board since they're already familiar with her from Ready or Not. Uh, but she can't do it, and this is what she had to say about that. We were talking about it, but our schedules aren't going to work, which is a bummer. We talked about it a lot, but unfortunately, because of scheduling, I couldn't do it. I'll be in Australia working on nine perfect strangers, so we couldn't make it work. Traveling is very difficult these days. So, Samara Weaving, unfortunately, yes, will not be appearing in Screen 5. I wanted to talk about that because I had already made a video that she would be a perfect candidate to be in this movie she would just fit right in in my honest opinion she has been killing it in some of these movies i've seen her in recently uh these horror movies i've seen her in recently she's just been killing it she's a very talented actress she has a lot to offer she has a very talented um horror scream when she screams those screams she had in ready or not i'd love to hear those screams in a scream five or any type of other horror movie uh, I really am disappointed that she won't be getting to participate in. But what, what, what makes me happy about this is that at least I know I was at least somewhat right with that video I made. Not only should she have been in this project, she would have been had her schedule have been freed up. What role they would have had her played? I don't know. I don't really know. I when I, The video I made, I talked about her being an opening kill as well. I just have a whole bunch of people I would like to see as an opening kill. Uh selena gomez though would be the most impactful one if she is in this project it would be a nice return to form for the opening style of the screen franchise having that big iconic name to be killed off in the opening uh drew barrymore jada pinkett now we're gonna have selena gomez because again leave schreiber from scream 3 uh good opening sequence but his character cotton weary i don't think they went about it the right way cotton dying at the beginning of scream 3 does kind of feel a little bit odd just because of how he had redeemed himself in scream 2 and then of course scream 4 was kind of just all over the place with its opening kills because it was just like a movie within a movie a movie within a movie and now oh now here we are with the real one so a little bit cartoony with scream 4 they kind of let us down with the past two ones so hopefully with Screen 5, we'll get back on track. And if Selena Gomez is in it, I'm expecting us to find that out this coming Friday, if not sooner this week. Um, because they keep on talking about this song she has coming out with Black Print and just breaking down this word, the words ice cream into ice cream and capitalizing scream and using all these different variations of scream and screaming. You scream, ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Selena Gomez. <laughs> so it'd be very nice if on Friday when this song drops, if we find out that's also if we also find out from her in an official tweet or something that she's going to announce her involvement in Scream 5. So that'd be very nice and a welcome surprise. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.